He was a student. He was 22 years old. We have new information tonight on a young man killed while working on an area road, and the person responsible is still on the loose. Good evening. I'm Heather Herring. I'm Mark Mellinger. Thanks for being with us. That crash happened yesterday afternoon. The scene, State Road 1 in DeKalb County near the town of St. Joe. News Channel 15's Matt McCutcheon spent the day uncovering new details about the crash in our top story at 5. Things appear to be back to normal here along State Road 1 in DeKalb County. However, that's not the case for the family of 22-year-old Andrew Landis of Indianapolis. Police say he was knelt down on this road right here yesterday afternoon around 3 o'clock, measuring this road for a future painting project. He had his orange vest on with his company work truck behind him when seconds later, everything changed. A pickup truck that was southbound on State Road 1 struck him as he was leaning over, measuring. That truck then kept going down State Road 1 without ever turning back. He just may have panicked. Uh, he may have been intoxicated. We, we really don't know at this point. Police say the driver's attention may have been focused on the work truck and a second worker who was behind it, meaning it's possible the driver never even saw Landis. News Channel 15 video from yesterday shows emergency crews responding to the scene where the victim's shoe flew off. Neighbors noticed the backup traffic and went to see what was happening. When I seen him put the white sheet down on the ground, I knew they had covered up a body. Today, only a paintbrush remains as a reminder of the crash. It wasn't Landis's typical job. Police say he rolled up his sleeves to help his employer. He was typically an office worker, and because of maybe a short shortage that they had of workers, he actually came out of the office and, and into the field. And now police need your help looking for what witnesses describe as a newer model brown metallic pickup truck that will have noticeable front end damage. Based on witness statements, police don't believe that speed was a factor in this fatal crash. If you know any information about that brown pickup truck or the driver, please give the DeKalb County Sheriff's Department a call. The number there on your screen. Reporting from DeKalb County, Matt McCutcheon, News Channel 15.